welcome to Techie Talking. Hello friends, in this video I will be explaining you on how to print a pattern using a Python program. The first example that I am going to show you is a pattern using a series of numbers. Let me explain you the Python code to print a series of numbers. This is the Python program that I have where I am going to first get the input value from the user. And this input value is the one which is going to decide for how many lines the pattern needs to be printed. That input value is stored in the variable val. To print a pattern, I am going to repeat the same set of steps again and again. So, I am going to use a for loop here. The range function that I am using here will help the loop in providing the range of values from 1 to val plus 1. So, why have I given val plus 1 here? Say for example, the user is going to enter an input value of 5, meaning 5 lines of patterns need to be generated. Then this range function is going to provide me the values from 1 to 4. So to get the fifth line also printed, I need to give val plus 1. This for loop is going to print the values only once. For printing a pattern, we need another for loop which is basically a nested for loop. For each execution of the outer for loop, the inner for loop is going to execute for a certain number of times based on the value of i that is there in the outer for loop. And within the inner for loop, we are printing the value of j. Now let me explain you in detail on how this code works. Say for example, the user has given the input value to be 5. So 5 will be stored in the variable val. And in the outer for loop, we are going to execute for a range of values from 1 to 5 because the range function will consider the value of val to be 4. So to consider the value to be 5, so we give val plus 1 to consider the range of values till 5. Next, the control goes to the inner for loop where the variable j is going to get the range of values from 1 to i plus 1. The value of i currently is 1. The value of j is now 1 because j is going to hold the range of values from 1 to 1 plus 1 which is 2. So 1 to 2 meaning range will exclude the stop value which means it is going to consider only 1. So we have i to be 1 and j to be 1 and we are going to print the value of j. The value of j is 1. So 1 gets printed in the output window. And we have this argument end equal to blank because by default the value of n will be slash n meaning each value will be printed in each line. So to have a pattern printed we need to have a series of values to be printed on the same line and that is why we are passing the argument end equal to space. Next the loop goes on now j will be 2. 2 comma 1 so the control exits from this inner for loop and then it executes this print statement where it is going to print a line. So the output is now going to be printed on the next line. The value of i now becomes 2. Next the control goes to the inner for loop where the value of j will be 1 now. So the value of j is 1. And I'm going to print the value of j, which is 1. So 1 gets printed in a new line. Next, the for loop executes again, where the range is going to be till i plus 1. The value of i is 2, so 2 plus 1, 3. So now range will have the value 2, which will be assigned to j. So the value of j will now become 2. And the value of j will be printed on the same line. Next, the value of j will be 3. Since this condition will not be met, control exits from the inner for loop and it goes to the outer for loop where it will print a new line. Next, the value of i will now be 
for j in range of 1 to 3 plus 1 which is 4. So it will be from 1 to 4. So now the value of j will be 1. And I am going to print the value of j which is 1 in the next line followed by a space. The inner loop continues where the value of j will now be 2. So I am assigning the value of 2 to this j because it now got incremented by 1. And I am going to print the value of j which is 2 followed by a space. And the inner loop continues. So the value of j will now be 3. And I am going to print the value of 3 here. In the next iteration, the condition fails and then it exits from the inner loop and it prints a new line. Next, the value of i will be 4. For j in range of 1, comma 5. So now the value of j will be 1 and I am going to print j which will be 1 in a new line followed by a space. The inner loop again continues where the value of j will now be 2. So I am going to print 2 followed by a space and it will keep going on till the value of j is 4. So 3 and 4 gets printed. Next, the control comes out of the inner loop and it prints a new line. Now the value of i is going to be 5 and the value of j is going to be from 1 to 5. So now it is going to be 1 and I am going to print the value of j and this keeps going on till output gets printed like this. Now let's execute this code in Python and see what output we are getting there. Enter the number of lines for generating the pattern. So I'm giving 5 here. So 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 5 gets printed on the screen. So what we can observe here is that the value of j is getting printed on the screen. So instead of j, we can also print some special characters. Say for example, I want to print a star. So I can just enclose within double quotes. And if I execute this code, let me give 5 here. So the star pattern gets printed in the right angle triangle format. Similarly, I can print at the rate as well. So this is how we can get a pattern printed using the Python program, be it a sequence of numbers or special characters. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can reach out to me at techytalkie at gmail.com. Happy learning and have a great day.